Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're back. We're back in the commentary box. Ali Casti and the great Chris Gavigan. You, you, you just looked at me with pure devilment there. Yes, there's devilment in my eyes now because I lost my game and I'm I'm full of devilment now. <laughs> but uh, yeah. it's a cracker of, a, of a, an afternoon, Chris, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's unbelievable. What, what an atmosphere! People are really enjoying the handball here today. In fairness, it's been good. The game has been good. You had a, you had a, a fairly titanic tussle in the Masters semi-final with uh, your own sparring, sparring partner Dominic Lynch. Yeah, two lefties. It's rare you get two lefties playing each other, but uh, uh, Dominic was playing very well. Now he was he, he was playing very good. Yeah. Um, so he's in the he's in the Masters final now against uh, James Doyle. James Doyle. Yeah, yeah. So James Doyle yeah. had a, a fairly one-sided affair in his uh, in his semi-final against David Sanders. Even though David actually played very well, but James played unbelievable shots. Right. Um, uh, James, James is a great one baller. He's a very good player. He's a, he's a current Irish champion. He's a, he, uh, the king of the Masters. He is. He loves, he loves one more. He's very good. So, in the, we're just after having two very similar um, ladies semi finals where um, Kira Mahan and, uh, and Fiona had a tight first game and then. For Kira, Fiona blew out the second game, and in the second semi final, it was the exact same thing. Um, Katrina went and was really on the ropes in the first game against Alicia, and then just ran through in the second game. Very good, very yeah. good. George, George's shorts getting uh, prime time viewing there. He's a cool they, shorts, they, a mule man. He's great they, shorts, great shorts. I, I, I don't know, I think the cameraman's laughing now at my own box, you know. But they, uh, they, he loves they, the game. He loves they, us new <laughs> fellas. We, we bring colour to it. We bring colour. The most fashionable man here. The new men are taking over here today. Bro. Um, I heard there's a, there's a really good musician playing the National Anthem as well. Playing, playing that in. I, I, yeah. I actually thought John Cargan was uh, was lying to me there. I think John Cargan could be playing it himself. We don't know. We, there's a special guest coming. <laughs> they're, finding, they're finding a special guest to, to do the National Anthem oh, here today. No way. But uh, that won't be for a while. But uh, let's the ner- get back with, the ner- to with the nerves, like uh, get the better of a man doing a job like that. Oh, the nerves! I hate. Do you know something? I hate refereeing. I, I don't mind playing or I don't mind talking like this. But refereeing, because you you enjoy the refereeing, dear. You're very good at the ref. As, you, as, you, as I said to you before, I'm built for conflict. So. Built for conflict. Built for conflict. So let's talk about these two guys. These are two good friends here, Chris. Two, yeah. We've got the great Conor McIlduff, the goat, as we yeah, call him. He's, but he. he, he just been brilliant the last couple of years um, like and two Tyrone men two practically neighbours you know yes um, got to say that Paul Paul is really in, in the last year they've just like two two brilliant one more players you know Connor, um, I suppose Paul has played more in the last year um, he's been on more tournaments he won the B championships in the Netherlands um, even though he was an open player before, but like the standard of B out in the European Tour is very high, and he, he did brilliant to win that out. And he was a step ahead of everyone else in, in the B, in the in the Netherlands that time. Conor McAdoff needs no introduction. No, he's uh, he, he make he's been he's been top of the tree for the last five or six years. The current World War World champion in the open grade. Multiple national titles now, so um, Paul's up against it, and uh, they're very good friends. He's got and Paul was unfortunate in London because he, he went over on his knee and he twisted all his knee. So if, yeah, if you're he, wondering what the, the knee brace is all about, he, damaged, he had some ligament damage. All right, he damaged, he damaged his, I was talking to him. He, seemed, he said that he seems to be back to his best. Um, he said after a couple of games, he'd have a little bit of soreness. But, um, that's Are these two from the same club, Chris? I think. I think they are. Lock and, uh, the other one's and Bracky, then, is it? And then Connors right. and Bracky. Okay, right. So they know each other's game very well. Yeah, yeah. No, they, these two are sparring partners. They, okay. they play each other a lot. Um, a two excellent one will put, like again, both have similar technical skills. Um, both are attacking and got great footwork. So. Um, if you if you don't know each player, Connor's wearing the white shorts, and uh, Paul is in the red shorts with the knee, knee brace. Good stuff. What can we look out for here today from Connor? Now he's the he's the world champion. What can we look out for the stuff? Yeah, look, Con- Connor has a tendency sometimes to play within himself. So 
what we want to see is is a little bit of form, you know. We want to see see how attacking Connor is going to be, or if he's going to just play himself into the game. Generally, what he does is he tries to move his opponent around as much as possible, and then in the second game he kind of unleashes a little bit and goes for those big shots. So it'll be interesting. One thing's for sure: we'll know, we'll see, we know we'll see, um, we'll have. We'll have people watching from all over the world. Other open players are going to be watching to see how these players are going to play today. Because the World Championship's in two weeks. Never. Yeah, it's only two weeks now, Chris. We won't feel it. And I see all the kids lined up to watch Connor now. They're, they're enjoying this. Yeah. Uh, he's a big fan. The, the kids will be all signing, uh, getting their uh, handball signed and autographs and jerseys and everything. And we, I just seen Katrina Casey going out there. She got her jersey. She gave her jersey away to... Um, to wow. some young fan. She'll need that later on, though. Yeah, she might. She might. <laughs> hope she's a spare one now. Because, uh, sure, she does. Yeah. Yeah. So, can you tell us a bit about our referee here, Chris? Do you know him? Our referee is from the Swinford Handball Club. Okay. And he's very well known on the. He's probably as well travelled as anyone else in the in the one wall circuit. George right. has been to nearly every tournament in right. one wall. So, so um, he knows the game and he knows. Yeah, he knows the game. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and I think he he was narrowly beaten in the tiebreaker. John, the great John Hurley, beat him in the tiebreaker. Yeah, breaker. again, John John the former senior champion in the 40 by 20 in the doubles. He won a won the senior doubles title in 1999 with the great Tony Healy. So um, he was up against big, t- stiff opposition and had an unbelievable second game. He just left himself too much to do. So big shout out to George on his performance today. Um, yeah, it's a, the standard here has been immense. Got to say the minor semi-final between Gavin Kelly and Kean Dunning was absolutely unbelievable. Great players. They play one more like it's supposed to be played, don't they? Kean, Kean played particularly well now today. Right. As, uh, as saying that his brother's playing in the Junior B semi-final on court three at the moment, Sam. It's, uh, it's a shout out to him. He's playing James Dempsey in the, the semi-final. Right. James had a big win over Carl O'Connor in the in the Junior B semi-final. That's right. It was a great game. Great game. Yeah. Great game. So, yeah really, got to say across all the grades, the standard has been really high. Yeah, there's, there's some been great matches, isn't there? Brilliant Tie, matches. Tiebreakers all the way. We're getting our money's worth here, Chris. Yeah, and, and you can tell that everyone's right, been, there's been, okay. everyone's been putting so, the effort right, in. Sir, give the number yeah. in the back of this car. One, and, and a big shout out to the last crew here for um, uh, providing for the reasons. Yeah, it's great. It's a great venue, isn't it? Yeah, and you got to see all the clubs that, that have one one more courts over the last couple of weeks have been really generous with trying to yeah, give so people places to again. play for He's one of the lines of, and Chico here is the other guy. Chico, and I'll be what? George is getting his turn. line judges, he's pointing them out to Del Boys. The, the, yeah, the line it. on the right would and the left hand side. Would you trust the man on the left hand line? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a great man on the left hand side. So the left hand side. Uh, the left hand side uh, big shout out to our president okay. here. Now he's down, he's down, for, uh, Connor. He's, he's here as well today. Predictions, you know the story went the story well, you, look, you have to expect Connor to go out and perform. Yeah. He's the best. He's been the best hand, one ball handballer in the country for the last number of years. Right. Paul, Paul is a top class one baller in his own right. Um, but I suppose the tournaments he's been winning has just been the, probably the a grade under under where Connor has been the last couple of years. Right. Even though, um, look, anything could happen. George could, would want to stand on this other, the other side of this. Right. I see a lot of referees at different places. The different no, 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 um, just gonna call, um, the I'll different places to stand. The, the, some people prefer though, to stand in the there. short line. Other people we have prefer a to there. We have a stand in the back line. Um, I might. If the surfs start getting tight. I'll probably move down this George side. George is just, just laying down the lower here to the boys. Okay. Short line. 
Oh, just about to get started here for the men's semi-final. George, I think I think Paul is questioning where Paul Paul is trying to stand there on the on the sideline, like you know. They so they want to, they want the ref to stand at the back, yeah, is it? I know, I, I can see when we start to fight. Uh, short line, yeah. Yeah, so uh, they, they're obviously discussing where the referee's position is supposed to be. Yeah, happy oh, yeah. Yeah, happy okay, fair enough. That's, uh, I'll go to the line, and it'll be whoever saw what. <laughs> I don't think George is really getting what the lads are actually saying there. Okay. Uh, I think he has. He's moved back, hasn't he? Or he's gone back to his old position, has he? Main senior semi final, Tyrone versus Tyrone. Yeah, he's Wait moved back, hasn't he? Wait for the score. Zero. Okay. He's, he's a good line just the left hand side, isn't zero. he? Zero. <laughs> That's a good first serve, deep. That, that was unlucky now. It was a good first serve, Chris. Why is a good first serve? It was just uh, the opportunity was there zero. for him to go. Zero. Serving zero. See where Connor goes. It goes deep into the left. It's a good shot. So the difference was Sean, uh, Connor finished the second shot, didn't he? He got it One. set up and he yeah. finished. Yeah. Zero. Connor puts it back down the line. Falls there. Again. Two. Uh, zero. Connor goes back deep into the left hand court. That's a lovely kill. Overhand. That's a lovely kill. Great shot. Shot. Look at this again. He waits for it to come down and he Three, slices it. That's seven, a great kill. Yeah. That's a real one wall shot. He's got very good footwork now, Connor and Ferris. That's a great pick. Look at how did he get that, Chris? That was a great get yeah. the angle. It's a great pick and in fairness, Paul was under pressure to put it down because Zero, Connor is moving. And put three. it down with his left too. Yeah. Paul puts it deep back into the corner. It's a movement. Ball is playing very well here, Chris. It's good. One. One serving three. No, that's what he has Too to good. do. Yeah, that's what he has to do. He has to take yeah. the second shot, doesn't he? He has to do that. Anything, he anything loose that Connor leaves up, he has to go and do something with. Right. So Two. Leaving, seven, leaving the ball up to him will only give Paul confidence. Connor goes, goes out the one. Great shot. Yeah. That was out. It's a point for. That was out. Yeah, Connor, Connor, yeah. George getting sorry, a little sorry, confused sorry. there. Three serving three. Three serving three. Ball started well here. Yeah, he's doing very well. Paul. These two have a great control of that ball. They do, yeah. They can really control the ball. Two of them playing safe here at the moment. Who's going to go for it now? Chance here for Connor. Is he going to go for it? Great. That's great gets. It's a great pick. Connor goes on the right and finishes it off. That's it's a, a good rally. rally. And the two boys clap hands, they know it was a good rally. Three, serving three. Connor goes back to the left. It's a good finish. Yeah, that's one thing you don't want to you don't want to leave it up for him easy to, to fly kill those. Fly again. Ball picks it. It's a great pass good control. Shot. It makes it look so easy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, but this is it. He, it takes his time. He takes his time. It makes three. it look. It makes it look simple. Paul talking to himself because he knows that he kind of gave it a little easy. That was a good pick there. Outside. I don't and know. Connor really using the court here at the angles. He's he's running. Uh, Paul and Lucky back and over. Yeah. Serving three. Just like that, 
Crown has picked up three points. Time to for Paul. Good control from Connor. That's a replay. It's not, it's not called by the referee. Three, serving six. Paul just trying to stick with Connor here, not leaving Great spin there, Connor with the overhand yeah. left. Really good spin. It looked like it was two from it Connor. from two, but yeah. Paul made sure. Yeah. As, it was an amazing shot, Connor, there with it. It was reversed on it. It was a lovely shot to him from an overhand. Lovely yeah. shot, good spin. Again, like these players have to go to the referee's call, so you, if, if the ball is left up low, even if you think it's two, you have to keep playing until the referee calls it, you know? Yeah, that's right. Six, to play. You, you play the ref. Paul played very well considering he came back from a serious injury. Oh yeah, he had a serious injury in London. I was there that day and I see yeah. Yeah. Paul, Paul. he was in agony. First agony. time up. Yeah, yeah. He was knee ligaments, I think, yeah. that day. Score so a seven four. It was, it was, Paul was called, called the first time out here. Yeah, but like both he's players. Still, he's both, sticking with Connor so yeah, far. Both players would be happy enough for why they've started so far. Mm. You know, he's picked up some good kill shots. Connor again steady, hey. just kind of getting himself into the game, you know? Yeah. Connor trying to have a chat with uh, with our referee here. Hi, uh, George is, is a typical swim for men, very friendly, friendly <laughs> guy. You know. Are, are, you saying really that, are you saying that I'm not a typical swim for men? I'm, well, <laughs> sure you're, you're a swim for men too, aren't I you? I am, I am. I'm not as friendly as you boys. Ah, well, you know. But yeah. Again, shows the, the strength and depth of Tyrone in the one okay. ball division, in the one ball code. Yeah, they play a lot of it up there, don't they? Yeah, you guys There's the great time, Bosco. He was my line judge there. He took me out to fire a few times. Oh, Bosco's a creep. He, he's been looming over me no, for the last one. No, he's a great man. He's, I heard he's going out with you tonight. I'm not going out with him tonight. No, that's out. Back to the game here. I was unlucky by uh, Paul. <laughs> He rec Bosco reckons Ali is a liability as a ref, which he's right. I, I would have refereed. I would have. I would have told him. Told him that. Uh, Can't believe they let you ref in the first place. Big rally here. Chance for Paul. Paul is not taking his chance when he. I know he's been the goal from that. Yeah. Look at the spin there, Connor. That's a good shot, but though. Yeah, uh, Paul took his chance that time. That's what he needs to do. If he gets half a chance, Paul needs to take it against. Um, yeah, I think. I think. Connor. Four. And, Eight. Look, at the end of the day, he, it's easy to, to like, I think, if you, if you watch here. some of the semi-finals with Alicia and Kira, they probably went for too many kills that they didn't get, right. you know, when they when those sales were, and, and that, that way, the goal, the gap can widen very quickly. Yeah. Paul, I think Paul just stayed eight. in control Serving of four. the last rally. No, Connor got him straight out. That was a good serve. Great pass. Look at the man that's great, great. serious. You think he's going down the line and next thing he switches into yeah, an angle. I, I can't, Connor just doesn't like they're they're good picks from Paul, but like Connor is all Seven, over four. it. Just doesn't leave anything easy like. No hand errors really or oh. just as, as you called said. it. You can't hear his curse there. Yeah. yeah. He, I can, I, I'll blame myself for that one now, Connor. We see Steve Markin taking photos there from... Uh, the great Stevie four. Markin. I hope he didn't take any cheap Serving shots of me. I was on the ground and stuff. He would have been taking ones of you taking timeouts, the many timeouts he took. Yeah, I, I was just exhausted. That's, that's unlucky. Paul can't, has to keep them in. Yeah. I know it's easier said than done, Chris, but he's under big pressure. Like. Yeah, he's under big pressure. Nine serving four. John Cargren. The great John Cargren here keeping he's, the show he's going. In, he's inspecting from up high. He's like the Kaiser himself up there. <laughs> taking taking stock of everything. Yes. He's making sure everything's Ten going well. Serving four. I, he reckons that it's his Tim Whistle that he's giving you. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't trust him with that Tim Whistle. <laughs> Seven, 
Good, good control from Connor. Paul oh, takes the time out. But this is second time out, no, Chris. He's, he's obviously under pressure, like. Yeah, but Paul, Paul, Paul's again. Paul, kind of just last couple of minutes hasn't been as aggressive as he needs to be against Connor. Right. I'm gonna take a bit of your banana, Chris. Do you mind? You, you eat that banana. Sorry, Thanks. I, I'll, 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 I'm Sorry, not gonna give. I'm not gonna say four. too much to you this time because you had a hard game earlier on I against Dominic. There, there's ourselves. We're looking good, aren't we? What? You eat bananas, that's a worry. Looking good. I do, I've got to worry about the cameraman that's actually wants you to watch you eat. Mm. You know? Looking good. Looking good. Um, this one for man's doing a good job of reference so far, Chris. Doing no, no major calls. No, he's doing a good job. A good, he, in fairness, <laughs> two gentlemen on the court at the moment, so. There's our president, Connor. Connor, um, Connor McDonald. He's a great old president. He travels around the country. He's put talking to Paul Graham there from. Do you think he'd be in line for for the big job in, our, in the hours? Well, I'd be a great president because you have to do speeches and all that. Aye. I'd be great at speeches. Hold on a second, it's actually eleven four. No, it's a wedding. So George is getting the the mop out. He's gonna make sure the court is nice and clean. He's got eleven four. Eleven four. And George is doing four. the just fair play to George. He's doing the job. Right. He's, he's not standing to the mark, look at that. He's well domesticated now is yeah. our George. Shall we feed her wet? The wife is proud of him. The whole friend. Hey, look at my calls, man. Yeah. I think it's uh yeah. there's wet feet though, wet footprint. Oh. Yeah, maybe there's one. Didn't step any water up, Ed. Maybe one of the lads just saw a little bit of a slide slide. Okay. I know. I suppose it's, it's easy thing to do. You can slide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like so, like the thing is, George. I think well, the lads try and just sometimes they wet up the the shoes to get a little bit more stick on the on the ground. This this co these courts can be particularly sli slippy and slidey. Um, okay. You didn't have too much of an issue with the floor or your No, I'm fair. Some they they did a great job. Yeah, yeah. They 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 the crowd here because that's the great. They were up all night Friday night uh, mopping and. Sweeping the floors and, and fairness is a great facility, Chris. Yeah, oh, it's brilliant. And it's local. It's, it's you know it's near everywhere. You know. Yeah, it's fairly central, alright. Fairly central, yeah. Like that's a good shot. It's a great Paul. shot. And Connor didn't only recover, but he, he went offensive. He's, yeah, like he's got a long stride. Yeah, and he's a great reach. Look at the arms on him. He's yeah, like a knock. Yeah. Well, serving you know. four. He is. Sure, he loved you. I've got to tell him he said that. Yeah, he loved that yeah. one. Now, that's into my training games with him. So, if yeah. you tell him that, but Ash will tell him anyway. This is it. Yeah. Thirteen serving four. He's got good control of this first game now. Paul just wants to get a little bit of a run together, maybe before the second game. That's, that's unlucky. That's Not going to happen. That's a small bit giddy by Paul, but he's he's trying his best. Like. Fourteen serving four. Connor to serve out the first game here. Puts it out. That's a great second shot by Paul. Yeah. I know it was out, but it was a lovely <laughs> angle. It was a lovely shot. It really sweet was. Shot. It, was a, a real, it was a real Four showtime shot. 14. Ball goes to the overhand serve. Connor returns it off the court. Opportunity for Paul. It's a good shot. Paul needs to kill this now. No, he's, he's leaving it up. Connor will do damage now. This is a great rally, Chris. A great rally. A big rally. Now Paul needs to go for it. No, he's putting it back up to him. He's hitting it back at Connor. It's a good shot, though. I don't know. Hit Connor thinking it's out. He hit the line. Okay, Let's have a look. No, no. Oh, yeah, he hit the, the line. Right hand. You agree yeah, yeah. Chris? Do you, wear, you don't wear glasses, do you? He's good. Oh, Connor thinks it's out, but right? we thought it was good. In, out. Good. Chris, too good. Right. George asking the two line judges, and they both agreed it was good, so it's a good ball. I, maybe I shouldn't be a line judge, I just saw a replay. <laughs> no, it was very good. It was, it, was a, it was a hard call, but it was on the line, we saw the replay. Yeah. I thought it was out personally, but I saw the replay now, it was on the line. You have great eyesight, Chris. I'm blessed with good eyesight. You're blessed. Might have it forever though. That's it, you have to look after each of your cards. 
Oh, plenty of carrots, all right. Yeah. That's a great That's shot. That's a from lovely Paul. second shot from that, Paul. Th and again, look this at this again. Watch this. Look at this. Bang. Just, just let yeah. it die in the water. That's what Paul needs to do if he Seven, wants to come back 30, in this match. 14. Now he's up against his 14 6 down. But six, like, 14. even just getting a little bit of rhythm for the second game, this. This could be the start of something if you could yeah. push him a little bit. It's not hard to get your eye in, but Connor's playing defensive now to push him back. Yeah, it's a great Lovely shot. shot. He pushed him back and then he took control. Yeah, and Lovely shot. Beautiful technique. Look the way he gets in there, shoots across the court with his left hand. Left or right doesn't really matter to Connor. Connor okay, looking to 14, see this game 7, out. 7. That's a great shot. Look at Connor. He was there for it like that. Connor a little bit annoyed with himself, but it's <laughs> such a particularly difficult shot from that corner. Yeah. Paul seven, gets an opportunity seven, to seven, maybe 14. pick up another point or two here before. The it's That's a great, a great shot. shot. Great, great pick. pick wow. I'm actually applauding that myself because that was actually a brilliant pick. Oh, great shot. Eight, serving 14. Unbelievable athleticism for Connor to pick that up. Now look at this. He needs it. That's a great it's return. Out. Connor talk, it caught it. Was out. It was above the red, was it, Chris? Yeah. I would have been out on the long line as well. Like. Sometimes you know when it hits off your hand. Yeah, just straight away. Nine, just catch it. Like. Yeah. Serving 14. Nine. Ball trying to get into double figures here. Long ball. Nine. Wait a second. See John Cargan. And Alana there, the daughter. John Cargan. And They're keeping Alana. an eye on the, the kids' ass. Nine. Um, Serving 14. The way it's going now, see if everything's going. The plan. In fairness, it's a great job throwing a Alana and John. They're doing a great yeah, job. They're doing an unbelievable job, yeah. yeah. And Adam, Adam is here somewhere too, I think. I was going to say you always leave Adam out. Did he do something to you? No, I just haven't seen him today. I've seen yeah. him in the morning, but I haven't seen him. That's like, could be Adam to care or anything, you know, you wouldn't know. 14, Busy lad. Yeah. Okay, Paul to serve out, Connor to serve out the game here. Okay, this is good. This is it for all the Marvels. For the Marvels, the first game. And that's there it. That's the first game, Chris. First game out. First game. Good control from Connor in that, but um, and still you have that feeling that there's a lot more to come from him. You know, yeah, in the, oh, in there's more match. left than Paul. There's more uh, left. More left than both of them. Okay, we're going to go to take a quick break before the second game starts.
You've just joined us with the mighty Chris Gavigan here in the commentary box and Ollie Cassidy here from Mayo, the Swinford Club. And Conor McIlduff against Paul Donnelly yeah. in, the, in the men's first semi final. Conor, Conor just after winning the first game. We've got the junior semi finals going on in the game so on the court beside us. Um, we're just about to start Jack Doyle and, the, and Jack Turley. And on the other side, we have the Junior B semi final, so there's a lot of action going on here. Um, but here we go into the second game. Connor McIlduff to serve against Paul Donnelly. Tyro two Tyrone men. Two Tyrone men, and they know each other, they're good friends. They play a lot of doubles together. Right. Connor. Paul, Paul puts out the sideline a little bit erratic there for his first rally. Um, as we said in the first game, Connor again has been the dominant force in one will handle the last couple of years. So it's a big ask for Paul to take him out. Great shot by Connor puts Connor. Look at that for control. Two Chris. two great shots. That's lovely control. Like, look at that. Watch this again. Look, look at this. Look at the look at that. That's it's, some control. It's it's beautif beautifully done. And you can control that ball, you can do anything. Yeah. That's out. Paul puts it outside. George didn't even look around at his sideline, George, there. Connor puts it down the line, Paul picks it. He's puts it back down the, again, just putting Car Paul He's everywhere at the moment. Yeah. He's yeah. moving Paul now a lot, back, in, yeah, back and over. And this is taking his toll because Paul is, 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 is rushing his shots then. You know, he's yeah, not well, comfortable on the ball. And the other thing is, that every time there's half a setup, he's going for it and he might be a little bit off. He's moving, you know. Connor goes for that fly dump, sh dump shot again. And unfortunately for him, it didn't come off. Paul serves it over the sideline. He's trying too hard now, Chris. Isn't yeah, he? that that was that was just a tip, just one there. You trying too hard. You pushed it, pushed it a little bit too much. But again, Connor's putting you under pressure. When oh. Connor's inside you, he's as good as anyone. Yeah. It's a replay. Replay. He moved it. Are the two good sportsmanship? So it's roughing itself, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The two good men. Connor puts it out the sideline. A bit disappointed. He just tried to again tried to get too much on it. Probably missed the sideline by a couple of inches. Paul puts a deep, a little bit of a, a loose start to the second game. One would say. Connor gets really good technique off his wrists off that. He gets a good whip on it and when he hits it overhand and he gets a whip on it, it kind of bounces a little bit higher than right. usual. Yeah. And the spin on that ball too. Yeah, like. he really he put he tries to put a lot of spin off the front wall in those overhand shots. Doesn't give you an opportunity to fly the ball then. That's a great shot. And it's just an ordinary serve, safe serve, low. Yeah. Or like a deep serve, and, but his second shot is second unbelievable, shot, Chris. He, it's unbelievable. Look at this now. Watch the second shot. It's just unbelievable. He makes you walk. Yeah, so definitely. Like that's where we say. Where that's what I was saying at the start of the game. Where Connor can play within himself a bit because he's probably capable of a lot more off the serve, but there's no risk to his serve that he, that he hits, and then he picks up fly kills left and right, right out of it. You know, so if it works. What about? That's all you need, you know? Yeah. Paul back into serve here. Puts on to left, his left arm. That's and then good goes play. for a kill. Oh, that's more yeah. low. That's good serve and kill. Paul needs to do more than that. Take his chances. Yeah, he that's, needs to take that's, his chances. that's it. That's, uh, He'd be annoyed himself when he looks yeah, at that, 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 the one that one didn't work out now. Connor goes and keeps good control off the right hand there. Both players jostling for the middle of the court. And that's some characteristic now, Paul. Yeah, that was. You wouldn't totally miss them now. Yeah, that was that was more of a hand error, more maybe a focus error than anything. 
took his eye off the ball as he was striking it, maybe. That's a good serve. And watch, the, watch the second shot. It's good he's control. Really making, he's given Paul a tour of the court there. Look at him. Now he's. Well, that was, was a, a bit, bit loose. There was a bit mess in there now. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was a bit on. Like, over conservative there as yeah, well. Again. Now, if Raleigh score, and the score would probably be 6 5. Okay. So. Those mistakes are more are punished more will be punished more in the World Championships with Bradley scored. Just the fact that every rally ends in a point. Right. You see Connor always steadying himself to go again. It's a good shot from Paul. Just pushed Connor back into an awkward stance more than anything. That's a good serve now. He's, he needs to capitalise on the return. No, he's, he's playing too defensive on the return. It's a good shot, good shot, bro. That's oh, a great. That's a great shot. Best shot of the tournament. Paul Donnelly. Best shot of the tournament. Paul best Donnelly. Shot of the tournament. Best shot of the tournament so far. I'm telling you, that was outrageous. Yeah, Connor even enjoyed that. One. <laughs> shaking hands, so. The referee enjoyed that one. We enjoyed that one. That was that was a sick shot. Great shot. Outrageous shot seen, stuff. Best shot we've seen so far today. Uh, that's, out that's, the unlucky, line. that's unlucky. Yeah, Connor, Connor again. You just worry, sometimes you, you wonder about some of these lapses in concentration. You know, could, could there Paul capitalise on it? There it goes again. They're saying that I'm, I'll have PTSD by the end of this. I've been, handballs have been coming at me left, right, and centre since I've been sitting here, Ollie, for the last couple of oh, games. You're doing a good job now, you're doing a good job. Oof. The, mon the, ball hits the, the monitor, mon there. <laughs> the monitor <laughs> took one there, it saved the, you. The monitor will have PTSD as well. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, that's, that's great, great blocking, great blocking. He's all the time in the world. Great shot. All the time in yeah, the great world. Yeah, great control. Yeah. He's given, given Paul a, a good tour of the court, though. He is, he is. Oh, he is. But the fight, it's only 7 5, though, Chris. It's, yeah. The score is good. That's a great shot, by Look at that, great, great pick. Look at this, this is a great rally, Chris. Great gets. That was well done by Paul, though. Yeah, good. great, great angle. Put, yeah. put Connor on the back foot. Paul takes the time out. He needed it after that. That was that was that was some get. Yeah. Great rallies. Connor looking to change his gloves. That'll be two minutes to change his gloves now. He's nice gloves too, isn't he? They're unusual, luminous gloves. He must be well, upcycling the well dark he's in case it's not season. You got it. he's sponsored by Killshot Gloves, so Okay, Killshot must have made the luminous ones for him. Getting special treatment, Paul. Ali, Ali, I'm surprised you know the supplied kitted out and kill shot stuff as well. Yeah, I have to get on to Paul. Sam Dun Sam Dunning on core three is just after pick hitting an outrageous shot with his left hand. It's a good game back here, it's isn't a it? Game, it's yeah. a great game. The I gotta say the, the standard of all the grades has been immensely high today. Been very impressive so far. That's a great game going on here. The the lads. Ju yeah, junior semi final. Gee, that's a great, that's a great game. The other semi final. So after this senior men's semi-final, we've got the other semi-final between Fierke O'Doul from Armagh and Carl Jordan from Kilkenny. Carl Jordan had a big win last weekend in the, in the quarterfinals against Ben Devlin. Um, and, in, and on the other courts at the moment, we have Jack Doyle and Jack Turley. It's a great team, that. And then we'll be into some of the All-Ireland Finals. 
Okay, okay. they'll be probably be breaking into the finals. The finals, uh, for anyone listening, will be on at what time? Well, we'll have the after the the men's senior semi-finals. We'll have the girls under 16 finals, boys under 16 finals, the minor finals, and the men's and ladies, and the then the senior finals. Jeez, we'll have to get a cup of tea up here and a couple sure of biscuits, will. Chris. Absolutely. Now we're resuming. Big rally. Well, that was a big rally. They were back in bed. Paul's annoyed with himself for missing that one. So it's seven four. Second, Connor, second Connor, game. Connor seems to have gone in with a bit more intent this time. It's a good shot. He's, he's annoyed himself because he didn't go for that. It was, did, it yeah, he was killed. there. It was, it was, um, he was there. It was. Uh, it was getting away. Yeah. Especially with his speed, it's almost like he was expecting more of him. The 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 two of them are up in the pace a little bit here. Just yeah, to yeah, that's it. As the man says, the gloves are off, but they're not really off. The, the <laughs> gloves are off this game. There's no friends involved here. It's a great shot. Oh, Paul would have been there. He was there for it, yeah. He just... He lost. Look at that, he was up. And Paul had it, but he maybe he just wants to finish it because he knew he was down on the ground. He, he wasn't getting the next one. I don't know, is that his wristband or watch? That came off. We see George doing a little bit of housekeeping in there, keeping the court dry. Good man, Swinford man. A well, well domesticated men in Swinford. Resume and play here at 10 4, I think. Whenever the referee gets back in here. Referee's very concerned about the wet court. Yeah, fair play to him. He's he, looking after you, the players. You needed him in there. Yeah, there was a lot of diving and uh, wetting in our court, but then. Um, well um, good good angle from Connor there. Yeah, he pushed Paul out to the side, didn't it? Right. I think. I think with the girls warming up, just trying to push Paul, Paul off a little bit. 11 7 4. Paul needs to do something, or else this game is going to get, get away from him. Like. Yeah. I'll be using more time out. Do something. And he's just trying to stay in the. That's not, that's not, what, shot. That's not part of the plan. Like. That's no. 12 4 now, Chris. Yeah. He needs to, he needs to do something. We do something quick. Yeah, they, this game has gone away from him quickly here in the last couple of minutes. Opportunity for Connor. Puts it on the right and it's just outside. Out, just out. He's annoyed himself, Connor. He's annoyed himself. Hey. Okay. Connor with a big lead here. We're just trying to get back into it in some way he can. Oh, Connor put the afterburners on there. Yeah. <laughs> he, um, he almost had it. He got his hand on it. He got his hand on it, yeah. <laughs> they're laughing at each other there, so there. That was probably more dramatic than it had to be. He took the long route too. too. He he went to 360. It's a good shot though. 360, but uh, great shot by you. Great, great shot there by Connor. Ball's gone under the table there, so. Um, yeah, good shot from Connor there. Good control. And that was 13 4, Chris. Yeah, Paul, Paul going to try and make a big stand here before. Doesn't want to make it easy, but that's, that's, that's no this, good. This is for all the marbles, Chris. You love the marbles. Well, the Cocoa Pops. It's for all the Cocoa Pops. Let's see. Connor goes for a deep left hand. Oh, that's, 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 that's the game. That's unlucky. That's the match. I think we've, uh, we've, uh, we've got our score mixed up here, so let's, um, we, uh, we put the wrong score in the monitor, so it's, um, it's, 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 uh, 14-4 now. It's 12-4, 12-4, uh, 
12 4, so we're running the monitor here. So it's 12 serving 4. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if we, we've got. Uh, it's a great shot by Connor. Was it? I'm not uh, sure if the guys can hear, hear yeah, the referee's four. mic. So. 12 4. Not 13, is it? Was, t was that 13 now? It was us, so it was us that was confused, not the, not the two players. It happens. Big rally, Chris. Good angles. Oh, oh, that's unlucky with Paul. It's unlucky. That's it. That's, it. that's all she wrote. That's game second match. So Conor McIlduff will be contesting the All Ireland Senior One Ball final later on today. So, very quickly, who have we got next? And we'll have a quick break then. Next, we'll be back. Next, we have the other men's senior semi final. We have Fiercro Duel from Armagh, and we've got Kilkenny's Carl Jordan. Lovely stuff. Don't go away. We'll be right back.